Video 1. Welcome to Junosphere. This video shows the procedure to start a topology into Junosphere in order to follow any of the remote hands-on workshops of this series. Let's start by typing www.junosphere.net in the web browser. You will need a login and password to access Junosphere. Otherwise, there is a link below which says click to buy now. Once in the home window, click on Manage Capacity. Select your bank and click on the green button. Select a sandbox to start the topology on. Note that if you don't have a sandbox to choose from, you would need to create one by clicking on Manage Banks, Sandboxes, Libraries. Then assign the capacity. In this case, the V-Day 1 book requires 7 VMs and it can be completed in one day. So let's go for 7 VM days. Let's assign it. You can check the first page of your V-Day 1 book to choose the right number of VMs. OK. Click on Manage Topologies, then on the Public tab. You can filter the library list by specifying the pattern Day 1. Then, select the topology you want to start. Let's have a look inside the topology. It's easier to follow, so please expect some silences in it. and click on Start. Select a sandbox to start the topology on. Now, if there is no reservation yet, you need to specify the number of days you estimate for the tests. In this case, one day. All the virtual machines start one by one. The first virtual machine that starts belongs to the Junosphere access infrastructure and is not configurable. All the other virtual machines belong to the workshop scenario. These virtual machines are the Junos routers that you'll work on. OK, the topology just started. Now it's time to join it. First, enable pop-ups, otherwise the join will fail. Then type your credentials again. Since it's the first time this computer joins a Junosphere topology, a Java applet is installed. This applet will create a virtual private network connection to the topology. Once the connection succeeds, an IP address from the VPN is assigned to the computer. Going back to the Junosphere page, you can check the details of the virtual machines that you just started. Here is a list of all the management IP addresses, and in case things go wrong, you can even have the console connection details. Let's go for plain Telnet. The username is Juniper, all lowercase, and the password is already mentioned in the banner, Clouds. The session is already connected to the router. Things are apparently fine.
If you want to see what is inside the topology, select Download Topology. A zip file is then downloaded to your computer. Let's have a look inside the file set, which as you can see is in zip format. First, the topology.vmm file lists all the virtual machines stating the Junos version they start up with, in this case VJX underscore latest, the latest supported version. Next, a list of all the physical, so to speak, interfaces of the routers. You can ignore the EM0, EM1, EM2 terminology and just focus on the GE ports. These are the interface names that you'll find in the routers. You can see that they are connected to internal private bridges. These internal bridges interconnect the virtual machines with each other, allowing for point to multi point connections. Finally, there's also the name of the startup configuration file that each router will load at startup. Where are these files? In the zip file itself, inside a folder called config set. You can find all of these. Actually, you don't really need to care about the details. You're ready to go. Please note that you can also create your own topologies using the topology wizard.